Hello, welcome to Shad Life. I have the Poseidon Norton with all the new parts that I put on it. I'm a lot more optimistic now about this, at least the frame, uh, because I think this frame will actually ride good. I think it will ride good. <laughs> we will find out. So here's my plan. I'm gonna go take this on Bison Run. And the reason why I'm gonna take it on Bison Run is Bison Run has a little bit of everything. It's got some tight, twisty, single track between trees. It's got rock gardens. It's got some jumps. A couple little punchy downhill sections, but nothing big and chunky like you'd find out west or whatever. I know that's sometimes what people wanna see, but I don't live in that region, so you're not gonna get reviews of bikes. And trust me, that's how I feel like almost all bikes are reviewed is out in big chunky downhill out west type terrain when 85-90% of mountain bikers live elsewhere and just ride regular general single track, some technical, some not. So that's what this bike's going to get tested on. Bison Run, it's like a, I would call it a blue trail but with some black elements in it or a dark blue trail. Um, and definitely get some jumps, rock gardens, all the things that will give me a good idea of how this frame performs. So let's go ahead and hit the trail and get to it. <laughs> all right, here we go, right into it. Let's see how this bike handles tight <laughs> tree sections. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Whoa, tech. So considering that it has now with this fork on it has a 74 degree 74 <laughs> 64 degree head angle. It's not a BMX bike. Um <laughs> not bad. I got these wider bars these are wider than the stock bars and a lot lighter um and these tires so far they feel really good they roll really good they grip good so i'm pretty impressed so far here we go really tight Whoa. This section's pretty fun. It's a nice little... Wow. Woohoo! After that, this bike makes me feel like Jeff Kendall weed. Although, that guy can manual so good. I wish I could manual as good as that guy. But wow, that was sweet. This bike did exactly what I wanted it to do. So this Advent X drivetrain, 10 speed, definitely has plenty of range. I believe it's 11 to 48. I mean, sure, 51 is what most bikes have, like with SRAM or Shimano. The 48 is a pretty big gear. Oh, I did a video on these routes and the rock garden coming up pretty soon. So what I'll say about Advent X is it's about what top of the line shifting was 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, top of the line shifting was pretty good. But it's not as crisp and quick and as good as shifting is today. Like my Shimano XT stuff is so good. 
and then that <laughs> kind of weird GX axis electronic shifting I have that has a <laughs> Shimano chain and cassette that shifts amazing but that's not to say that this heaven X is not or is bad or anything it is definitely good it's light it shifts pretty fast just you know it's like when you get when you ride the really good stuff you start to get really picky <laughs> i'm definitely one of those all right the big rock garden is coming up here we'll see how this bike handles the rock garden Here we go. I did a whole video on this. Gosh, these DVO forks are so good. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Bike doesn't feel too bad through the technical terrain. It's uh, longer, I did get a medium. So it's got a 440 millimeter reach. And that's why this 35 millimeter stem is needed it's bringing it back and it feels kind of good to have that longer front end and short stem it's actually like how a bmx bike would be set up right there's the thing i always forget about every single time but for all this like kind of technical tight terrain trees and stuff like that um it certainly handles really well i'm actually a little surprised i thought a bike that was designed this aggressive would be less agile especially since it is a medium and i normally ride a small but it's pretty good it does have 27.5 wheels so that does make a difference a little bit smaller diameter wheel is going to make the bike more agile versus a 29 or so that could also be another reason why it seems so easy to maneuver around and i've talked about that before 27 pie wheels definitely make a difference the 29 inch wheels like on my jaffe definitely feel the bigger wheels <clears throat> so Hello. Oh, right, squeeze through. Thank you. So Steve at the hardtail party, he just recently tested the Canyon Stoic. So they're kind of similar concepts and frames. Um, but he was talking about how that frame was super stiff and it beat him up um which you sometimes don't want <laughs> sometimes having a little bit of compliance in the frame is nice this frame isn't beating me up like it seems pretty compliant to me for aluminum but this frame is 6061 aluminum um i don't know what the stoics made out of but that can make a difference the type of aluminum because i know 7000 series aluminum is a lot stiffer um also uh what can make a difference is bracing and how beefed up the frame is because if you over beef up the frame oh it's another one of those doubles i always forget about <laughs> first that i'm right in the middle of talking here's another something 
So this frame doesn't feel overly stiff. <clears throat> it feels pretty compliant. Definitely not as compliant as steel, because as you know, I ride pretty much all my hardtails are steel. Yeah, I have a titanium one, so. I really like jumping this bike. Oh, there's some chunk. Oh, <laughs> that bounced around a little bit. tight <laughs> they definitely test the handling of the bike you just gotta lean it way more than you think you need to that's the trick to tight turn yeah i'm i'm impressed uh with how this rides um this makes me really want to get a chameleon frame and compare so that'll be my mission <laughs> start searching for a chameleon and i want just the frame because i have all the parts <laughs> and see how that uh rides compared to this because that's going to be from a you know santa cruz reputable brand and definitely supposedly better quality right i think I mean, the geometry on this thing, <laughs> so nice for jumping, as you can see. Yeah, so awesome. Oh, the chunk. I was gonna go to the right, but I'm like, nope, left line smoother. Not on a full suspension bike. I mean, I have cleared every single one of those doubles and sometimes I struggle with that. Oh. Alright, I need a little rest. So I pinch the seat. I'm trying to make it crink and pop. I don't know what it is. Um, I'll definitely... <laughs> inspect the frame because I've been beating the crap out of it uh, yeah very interesting wow what is that Well, the frame looks okay. I mean, it's pretty beefy. Oh, no. Okay. A minute there. <laughs> nope. Oh. I think it's the headset. This thing with aluminum is it uh, reverberates through the whole frame. So even though it, the noise is coming from here, it works through the headset or through the frame and it sounds like it's coming from somewhere. So now let me retighten the headset.
Uh, and then there's this rock garden. Oh my god, that was rough. And then there's this flow section, super fun. Whew. Good stuff. So there you have it. I finally got to ride this frame, set up how I like things set up, and I really like it. Sure, it's not super fancy high-end frame. Um, it's not titanium, anything like that. It's 6061 aluminum, which gives it some decent ride compliance, things like that. Um, Poseidon, I hope they see my videos or see other people's videos because the way they have the complete bike set up completely detracts from how good the frame is. Um, it's a $399 frame, so it's pretty budget. <laughs> um, but if you're looking to get like a sweet frame and then build up parts around it, and then maybe later on get an even nicer frame, like a Santa Cruz Chameleon, which is the frame I really want to get a hold of right now, because I want to directly compare it to this one. So uh, I believe a size medium Santa Cruz chameleon frame. <laughs> if anyone knows where I can get one, please comment. I want to get one of those so I can put all these parts on it and do a direct comparison. Um, awesome. Definitely great frame geometry. Like I said in my previous video, uh, my opinion on this bike on the complete bike I don't recommend buying the complete bike not for $9.99 it just doesn't have the parts of the parts completely detract from what the frame is capable of being <laughs> there you have it I appreciate your support for my channel please like and subscribe peace and wow isn't it just gorgeous out like amazing